everybody and welcome to this week's uh, uh, video. Uh, we want to say uh, happy anniversary. It's our eight year anniversary. Can you believe uh, that we would be here today? Eight years ago. I, I, it's amazing to me. Uh, do you remember opening up the boxes and trying to get everything on the shelf in time? I certainly do. Yes, and we've had a great, we've had so much fun and so many, oh, heartfelt and wonderful memories of everybody. Uh, gosh darn it, too many to uh, uh, call out uh, specifically, um, but we've been very blessed from our very first day when Bonnie and Craig walked in here. They were our very first customers, and I can't believe that Bonnie is now working here. It's shocking, isn't it? It is. And um, we've, we've uh, had so many wonderful, great memories here in the last eight years. We, uh, I have to say, uh, I never give my father enough credit, but to have spent as much time as we've been able to spend together in the last eight years has been uh, a dream come true for me. Um, I'm sure that maybe he wasn't feeling the same way because I'm kind of bossy. But um, anyhow, we want to say thank you to everybody and tell you how much we love you and how much we really appreciate um, everything that you have given to us these last eight years. You've been tremendous. And let's say cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> and we will say cheers to the next eight years as well. Um, I have lots of housekeeping before we get to the absolute fabulous tasting. Um, first, uh, this Sunday is the beer tasting, our annual beer tasting. Cooper is in charge. He's large and in charge. Uh, Dylan's going to be providing the food for the event. So if your schedules permit, it's noon to 4 p.m. this Sunday. If you wear a costume, you save a couple bucks. But the food's going to be fabulous and the, and the beer is going to be um, exceptional. So please uh, remember to stop by. Um, that's my first thing. Wine dinner, hello, November 17th. I'm so excited. Uh, we're doing a rack pack wine dinner. I have the menu prepared. We will start taking reservations. Uh, today is actually Tuesday. We'll start taking reservations on Thursday. Um, we, and we're going to, we're hearkening back to the 60s. Uh, it's going to be at the Del Rey restaurant in Pico Rivera, which is right off the um, uh, off the 605 freeway at Washington. It's a restaurant that's been around for 55 years. There's a whole lot of history there. We're celebrating lots of history. Eight years here, 55 years there. And um, so the menu is as follows, and I'm gonna use my little cheaters here. Uh, relish tray, we're doing uh, a, uh, a chicken soup. Uh, we're doing Chilean, Chilean sea bass a la ben. We're doing the medallions of filet with a peppercorn sauce, very retro, definitely. And if you want to dress a little retro, skinny ties, guys, um, you can certainly do that. And then we've got a couple of desserts that we're offering, uh, apple cobbler bread pudding. And so everybody, um, very limited seating. There's only so much room there. Uh, so please get your reservations in because uh, they're not going to let you go over uh, the reservation maximum like I usually Anyhow, um, now we're on to this week's fabulous tasting. Uh, we are going uh, or starting off with a Sharpen Burger. Um, this is a wine I absolutely uh, love. It's been with us here at the wine shop from the very beginning. It is uh, two thirds Pinot Noir, one third Chardonnay. It goes to 100% malolactic fermentation, so it gives it a creamy texture. This is something that you can, I, I don't know, I think it makes a great date. Um, and, and if you're with the one uh, that you either like or love, uh, maybe even lead to a makeup. Um, then we're moving on to the J Vineyard Pinot Gris. This is 100% Pinot Gris. Uh, they're sourcing for vineyards right around the Sacramento Delta region. Um, this one, uh, all the grapes are uh, fermented and aged in stainless steel. So no oak tree was harmed in the making of this wine. Um, you've got a nice kind of fleshy, citrus, tropical fruit note with this one. It goes down super easy. We absolutely love Jay Vineyard. Then we're uh, going to um, uh, Mencia. Um, this is a, a great varietal that we've seen here uh, this summer. Hadn't seen it much before, but we really like this, uh, this grape. Um, it's a, a darker, very great, 
Uh, you get a lot of extracted color, a ton of flavor out of this wine. Um, this one is definitely worth coming down here. It's a good price point as well. Moving on to the Alexander Valley Vineyard Syrah. This is made in the Rhone style, so they are blending this one. I'm going to cheat just a little bit. Classic Rhone varietals. Um, Syrah, Grenache, Mavedra, and a small amount of Viognier. So they are making it in that traditional Rhone style. Um, the addition of the Grenache, this comes from 85-year-old vine, so it just really rounds out the flavor. Um, we've featured a lot of Syrahs uh, here in the last year, especially um, uh, because people are really embracing the grape varietal, and this is particularly fabulous. Brand new, um, brand new wine for here at, at the wine shop. Um, and then we're moving on to the Donati family vineyard. This is the Claret. Claret's just a fancy French word for blend. So this is dominated by Cabernet Sauvignon. It also has uh, Merlot, Malbec, Cabernet Franc, and a little bit of Petit Verdot. This comes from a region which is Piscine. Uh, about 30 miles east of Monterey, it's a little bit warmer climate. You get a little bit thicker skin grape, and um, uh, so you get a little bit more tannin structure in this wine. Uh, this has been aged in oak for about 21 months, combination of both French and American oak, so you get a nice vanilla tinged finish. Uh, last, we're moving on, we've got a big bad boy uh, for the wine tasting this week, and it's the Coletto uh, Vineyard. It's the Frog Prince, and I guess this is for you ladies, if you've kissed enough frogs, it turns into a prince. And this wine is definitely, definitely a prince. Um, this one is Cab Dominant, uh, Malbec, Cabernet Franc, Syrah, and Petit Verdot. All Napa Valley fruit, this is definitely out of the price range. Even if you don't plan on buying this wine at $37.99 a bottle, you should come in for the tasting. We priced it for uh, wine for, uh, for our anniversary, so the tasting is only $19.99, and you get all these fabulous wines. We're also featuring the Sharpen Burger by the Glass, eight-year anniversary, so it's $8 a glass. Um, we hope everybody, mark your calendars. <clears throat> Beer tasting this Sunday. Wine dinner November 17th, and then we've got the wine club pickup the 7th and 8th of December. Um, and I'm already buying wines for that, and I will be here pouring wine. So everybody, mark your calendars. We want you here. Stay happy, stay healthy. Here's to the next eight years. Absolutely. Love you. Love you. All right. Uh, stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you very soon. Cheers, everyone.